Yo, what's poppin' guys? Sizzle here, and today I'm going to show you how to set up input overlays. Uh, I personally recommend these two particular types of software. Obviously, there's a lot more out there. There's just a ton of stuff you can use, but I can only really help uh, in setting up and using these two pieces of software, because that's all I've ever used, which is Gamepad Viewer and Input Overlay. Um, Game Gamepad Viewer is web-based, uh, really simple. The only real downside is it is a web base, which means you have to have a web browser open, which for some people can be really annoying. Or and B, you need uh, internet to use it, or you need it like already loaded up so that you can use it offline, which is just kind of annoying. And uh, your other option is input overlay, which is offline. It's just an overlay in OBS. It supports a ton of stuff, including mouse and keyboard, which I don't think Gamepad Viewer does. Um, so yeah. Uh, without further ado, I'm going to go show you how to install Input Overlay. So first things first, you want to go either to the description and go to the GitHub link I have uh, listed there, or just go to Input Overlay's uh, GitHub, you can actually see the link on screen, and go to Releases. And uh, once you're here, you want to get the latest version that isn't a pre-release, because pre-releases sometimes have bugs and just a couple other annoying things. So almost always you want to go with what's called the latest release. So make sure you see that on the left. And uh, then you would just want to get the package for your system. So in my case, I'm using Windows right now, so I'm going to download that. And you just want to save your file. You want to go to your new uh, downloads folder and you'll see uh, the input overlay zip file. Then you want to uh, extract this with whatever you have available. Some people have WinRAR, some people have 7-Zip. If you don't have either, I recommend 7-Zip just because it's free. It doesn't have any extra stuff going on. And you want to extract it into its folder. And once you're here, you open the folder and go into the Plugins folder. And then select both of these and copy them, which you can either do like that or just Control-C. And then you want to go to Windows, uh, Program Files, and you want to scroll down to OBS, and you just want to paste right here. Now it's going to uh, just tell me I have to replace the files, which most people won't have to. You won't have these files. I just have it already installed, you know, for the sake of this tutorial. And once you do that, uh, you just, just paste them in here, replace anything I have to. Then once you're in OBS, you'll now have this new button uh, called Input Overlay, Input History. And what you want, obviously, is Input Overlay which you could add, but first you want to do something else. So you want to go back into your files. You want to maybe make a folder for presets somewhere that you'll actually not delete it. In my case, I'm, I know I'm not going to delete anything in the OBS folder. So I'm going to make a folder for presets right there. And you want to go back to your downloads folder, go into the presets section, and you need to extract whatever you need. So in my case, I'll just show off the keyboard one real quick. So WSD. Extract that to WASD, and then you want to cut this folder, or copy it, whatever you want to do. Cut the folder, bring it to wherever you want to save this. Uh, it could really be anywhere as long as you know how to get there. And you just want to put it in there, and just like that. So I have that in there. Now what you want to do, now, you, now once you have anything that you need in here, so not just WASD, it could be anything, you want to hit the plus button, you want to hit input overlay, and you want to add one, you can name it whatever. Just control this keyboard, because that's what this is. And then you need the image file. So you want to browse. You want to go back to where you have the folder. And you want to find the PNG, not the previews. You just want the normal PNG for whatever it is. And just like that. And then the config file, which will also be in the exact same folder in the same place where you can get the minimal version or the full version. doesn't really matter what you choose. And just like that, you'll have your nice keyboard layout. And uh, you can hit OK. And as soon as you got that running, now you see whenever I press W, A, S, D, I am pressing all the keys. You can see they just show up on screen just like that. I can then move this around all I want. It's really straightforward. Um, and and show that off the gamepad as well. So first I need to go back to my file system. I need to go into my downloads folder and pull out the gamepad one. 
and then I want to like that and bring it out to my uh, presets folder that I just made and just like that and I have my gamepad over here so now I can make a new one and even put overlay and I'm going to call it gamepad because that's what that one is and just go to the gamepad folder instead okay your gamepad png your layout config file and make sure it's a gamepad overlay so you can configure anything that you need to do uh, you can look up what the gamepad ids all are and all the dead zones and all that i'm going to leave everything like, like default and i'm going to go connect my controller real quick let's give that a second And while I'm doing that, I might as well resize this. So now I have my controller connected. You can see if I move that around, it's picking up all the inputs just fine. If I was playing a game, it would be doing the same thing. And yeah, it's just that simple. Uh, that's how you set up the uh, overlay uh, one, if you want to do it like that. And now I'm going to go showcase how to do the gamepad viewer. All right. So for Gamepad Viewer, you need to go to the website, gamepadviewer.com. You can see it doesn't detect any gamepads right now. That's because I actually don't have any connected. I just unplugged my controller. So let me plug that back in. And just like that. Yeah. So once you're on this website, you need your controller to be connected. Uh, so you got to give mine a second, and then once you are, once you press something, it'll show up with a bunch of options and stuff for you to configure, which I'll go over real quick. So you can see I just pressed a button, and I'm currently viewing, I guess I'll do uh, my PlayStation controller, because that's what I'm using, PS4 controller. I want to be viewing player one, and just like that, you can see this has a really nice uh, controller-specific input. You can do that, obviously, with the input overlay that requires some custom PNGs and stuff. So that's up to your own discretion if you want to do that. Um, and yeah, so once you're here, you want to go to Generate URL or Remap Buttons. So let's say I want to... Let's say, for example, uh, I use like some other input. I can just click on it here and add new mapping. I actually don't, so I don't really care about that. So I just want to generate the URL because that's how you add it to OBS. So you want to generate your URL. You can just click right here to copy that and go back to OBS. Then you want to add a browser. And just call this gamepad. And just like that, that should add your gamepad. It says disconnected right now because I don't have the website tab then. Just like that, it should now be connected. You can see it's an Xbox controller for some reason. Not sure why it's doing that. Uh, it just happens, I guess. I haven't messed with this one as much as I have the overlay one. and It's a little bit more complex to use, but it can look a lot nicer depending on what you're going for. And this one's nice because from the two options I gave, this is the only one you can really use on a Mac. So anyone on a Mac, you got this option, or you can go do your own research and figure out uh, whatever you have going on. And once you're in here, I mean, it should be transparent. But if it's not, uh, what you want to do is you want to plus, or you want to right click the gamepad, go to filters, uh, effect filters, it's stupid smaller okay. effect filters uh, and chroma key and once you're here you want to you know, change the similarity you want to change the color you make it custom so let's say i want it to be black for some reason uh, i can make the whole controller invisible just like that i don't know why you would want that but now you can see just the buttons for example um, and you can do that if there's a background color, you just get rid of that color. You can change the background color on this site with the same settings. 
I think it's actually just right here. Yeah, and you click the little painting thing. You can change the background color to make it green, which lets you just use a green screen. And uh, yeah, that's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys learned a lot, and I'll see you in the next one.